I set up Anthem because I've always wanted my own agency. I've always wanted my own baby and I've been trying to do it for a few years and get out there and do my own thing. And um, so it was a dream come true really. Bringing Ariana to New Zealand was um, for our launch and I thought a year ago when I was thinking about setting up my own business, I thought, who can I bring? Who would be the most amazing person? Who would really represent what Anthem's all about? Who's contemporary and funky and interesting and has kind of reinvented themselves over the years and she occurred to me to be the person that kind of personified that. So tonight is about getting our name out there, celebrating what it is to be part of a new economy and a new world of new media. Uh, and also just enjoying her philosophy on life and, and knowing that success is more than money and power. I thought I could pull it off because I'm a bit of a nosy beak and I just like getting on the phone and talking to people. So I just picked up the phone and found her office and called her up really, called her agent up and um, found it was all possible. I think a lot of people limit themselves, they don't really know what the ask is and they they think they can't do stuff and my uh, my most operandi has always been to say well why can't you why can't you do that and why don't we try for jane to imagine big is an everyday occurrence so i wasn't surprised and i was really excited about it um, the opportunity of meeting someone like ariana huffington is beyond words and we were just so on the same wavelength around the type of launch that we wanted to have for Anthem, something big, bold and exciting, and Ariana was a perfect fit. I want our guests tonight to get a really memorable experience from meeting Ariana, something that will be the highlight of their business year, but also hopefully personally as well. Now this evening is a result of the partnership and generosity of some absolutely great companies and would not have been possible, though, without the vision and determination of one woman. She also, can I add, has the best branded fingernails in the entire room. Ladies and gentlemen, to find out more about Anthem, please welcome to the stage the gorgeous Jane Sweeney. Welcome to an evening with Ariana Huffington. When I sat down to document the, the type of business that I wanted to create, I started my very unorthodox stream of consciousness business plan with the words, who says you can't? And I went on to describe the agency that we are in the process of building, one that is always reinventing itself, full of go-to people who are constantly questioning and finding new and inventive ways of achieving outcomes for our clients. And as I wrote Anthem's business plan late last year, I thought, who would I love to get here to mark the launch of our agency? Thank you, Jane. Thank you for even watching Family Guy. It is time to redefine what we consider success. To define success simply in terms of these two metrics of money and power is like trying to sit on a two-legged stool sooner or later you're going to fall off. That's why we need that third leg of the stool, you know, that third metric of success that I believe consists of these four pillars of our well-being, wisdom, wonder, and giving. What advice would you give us as an amazing editor? It's not about exclusivity anymore. In fact, um, we have a saying which is ubiquity is the new exclusivity. I really wanted to see just what we could do and uh, we're a small agency, uh, we're a new agency but to be able to pull off something like this with 700 people, uh, a world class speaker, everybody's here, I don't think anybody's left, we've got almost everybody here straight after the event, it's, it's, uh, that's exactly what I wanted to see, just what can we do, if we stretch ourselves, what sort of things can we get up to and, and I think we're delivering, it's great.